ready to go. Quit hiding, you sneaky little shit.
Keep this simple. Give me the medicine you have, and your brains will remain in the skull.
Casey, you there? Casey, you there? Casey, good news. May said she would give me the key we need. Good news? Hell, tourist. I would classify that as fucking outstanding news. No, look, I, I don't want to jinx it, but... No, uh, you know what? I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Best not to risk the jinx. Let let's just forge ahead. One step at a time. Okay, so, um... The part to repair the final pump. Gosh, I, I I don't have much to go on. It's weird. There's been really faint chatter about it on a few channels. It's been nothing but static for months. Uh, th there's an outpost called Bastion, set up in a heavily defended duplex home. Uh, barricades and optimal sight lines. The reclaimed currently control it. Now, the place has been a hotbed of conflict between tower and reclaimed for a while. From what I'm hearing, that's where it is, so be ready for a shitstorm. Good luck, and hey, keep your head on a swivel.
Hey, Casey. How's it going? Oh, hey, tourist. Honestly, I'm a little freaked out. What's bothering you? It's just... I'm so close to getting out of here. And the closer I get, the harder it is for me to imagine what it's going to be like out there. You know? I mean, I, I know it's not the same world it was before I was locked in. And, and I can accept that, you know? But it, it seems like in order to make it out there, I'm going to have to become something I'm not. Violent. Ruthless. Willing to hurt anyone for even looking at me sideways. It's simple, Casey. Adapt to the violence, embrace it, or die. Is that what you did? Huh? Or oh, were you always the way you are? And yes, this is me freaking out a bit. But there's a big part of me that's scared to meet you face to face. I mean, look, I, I don't really know you, but I know what you're capable of. And frankly, it turns my stomach when I really think about it. You'll see. I'm not scared, Casey. You just don't want to fuck with me. That's all. Thanks for the advice. You know, I gotta hand it to you, tourist. A conversation with you is always enlightening. Even entertaining sometimes. But, well, that's about all I can handle right now. I'm gonna take a few minutes to myself. I'll talk to you later. Our enemies are weak. They lack conviction, lack purpose. They spread nothing but lies about us. That's all they can offer. A pile of bullshit. They have no vision for the future. They are hopeless swine. All they want is to see us burn. And why is that? They envy our success. That's why. They know we are strong. They know we refuse to be swayed. They know we are united. And it drives that half-wit charlatan of theirs mad with envy. They don't understand loyalty or sacrifice. We do. Because we are guided by principle. And these principles have seen us through the worst horrors imaginable time and time again. We all know what kind of animals they are. We all know that they stand for nothing. They are empty, depraved psychopaths, every last one of them. They must be dealt with swiftly and without mercy, before they can poison everything we have worked so hard to achieve. The tower will always stand, Georgia.
Patience was beginning to be tested. <laughs> Let's start with a formal introduction. You are the tourist, and I am Jean-Baptiste. JB for short. There now, we can proceed to matters of more profound consequence. It is my understanding that this gizmo here would be of use to you. It's all yours. Consider a gift. And when we are finished with our conversation, I will provide you with the missing dial that you'll need to operate it. Sound fair? Sounds fair. Terrific. Now, I prefer to play it straight. Once I received word that you were collecting these devices, and to what purpose, I saw an opportunity to connect with the city's most illustrious survivor and have a chat about the reserve. So I made it a priority to acquire one, through various means I will not divulge. And now here you are, 
It is my hope when I am through, you will see the reserve for what it is. Nothing more than a crutch, holding back the people of this fine city from regaining themselves. You've piqued my interest. Go on. I am a firm believer in the greatness of humankind. Our ingenuity, our art, our towering scientific achievements. This reserve nonsense, even if the rumors about what may be inside it exceed our wildest dreams, the bounty will only prolong our addiction to survivalism as the only path in life. It will stifle our creativity. It will eventually lead to our withering doom. Now, this is the proposal that I have for you. Continue your search for the reserve. And when you unearth it, which I have the utmost confidence you will, destroy it. These four numbers will disable the entire flood contingency system. Mother Nature will rage through the reserve and take care of the rest. One, zero, zero, six. Flood the reserve and set us all free. Give this still glorious city the jumpstart it needs to refocus on something much grander than mere survival. Grant us hope, tourist, and thank you most sincerely for hearing me out. And let's keep this chat between us, if that's all right. I'm not sure my comrades would see the big picture benefits of removing the reserve from the equation. The floor is now yours, my friend. Anything on your mind that requires clarity? I'm curious about the reclaimed. Yes? What's with the gory rituals? First one was a man I knew well in my brief tenure as a tower grunt. I'd even called him a friend. Trip was his name. Snuck up on me in the middle of sleep. Tried to slit my throat. Still carry the scar. We had a long story short, Trip was no match for me. I maimed him. Something awful, really. And I dragged his body about a mile all the way to the southern bump, which at the time was the most highly trafficked exit from the tower. I found an old oak, hung him upside down from it so his lifeblood would spill rapidly into the soil, and upon his chest I pinned a note that read, Keep him coming. And just like that, I became the most feared boogeyman Nola has seen since the Axe Man. Once I had fear on my side, the rest just blossomed naturally. Those with nowhere else to go wanted what I had, so they listened. And they learned. I empowered them. That's all people want. A sense that their lives still have some meaning. The reclaimed have made quite a mark on the city. How did the movement get started? After my exile from the tower for insubordination, I took to raiding their supply lines. Rather efficiently, I might add. No one ever got hurt, and other exiles clamored to join my operations. Needless to say, Mama and her cohorts were not pleased with my exploits, and they sent several communications asking me to cease my pillaging or there'd be consequences. <laughs> of course, I refused, politely. No one was gonna dictate the terms of my existence anymore. But it wasn't until the tower started sending thugs out to track me down and in me that I decided it was time to send a message of my own. I've heard snippets about the reclaimed philosophy. But it would be enlightening to hear it from you. It's simple, really. We want to live purposeful lives, reclaim the world and our humanity along with it. Mere survival is so petty. It's beneath us, forcing people to focus solely on survival. It's cruel, really. I believe we must invest in a future of our own design. Life is not worth living otherwise. I have some other questions for you, JB. 
I want your perspective on the reserve. Uh-huh. If the rumors about what's inside the reserve are true, wouldn't it benefit the Reclaim to get your hands on it? You are absolutely correct. But once those supplies are gone, then what? The same old fruitless pursuits. And there is the very distinct possibility that the tower gets to it before we do. The only way to guarantee this city will move forward in the proper direction is to remove the reserve from the equation entirely. Why choose me to destroy the reserve? Because you're the one best equipped to find the accursed place, and I trust you will do the right thing when you do. Call it a hunch. How did you find this code to flood the reserve? One of my scouts came across the corpse of a National Guardsman in Rampart High School. The body had a manual for a bunker's flood defense system. I put two and two together. I have some other questions for you, JB. I've heard enough. Fair enough. Then we are finished here. The Dow had promised. Godspeed, tourist. <laughs> Finally meet, tourist. After all the hype, you're not exactly what I expected. Thought you'd be more put together, a bit more danger to your presence. You know who I am, but I'm not sure I know who you are. I have a guess, but... I'm Georgia. Maybe you heard of me, maybe not. I could give two shits. What does concern me is the man inside the building you just stepped out of. The time has come to silence him once and for all. Cut off the head that won't shut up. Rest of the reclaimed fools will fall back in line. Then us tower folk can get back to doing what's right. Without all the noise. From what I know about JB, it may take more than you and a couple of goons to take him down. You a real smartass, tourist. I fucking love smartasses. Especially when I've snipped the tongues out of their smartass mouths. But I'm willing to give you a pass on your smartass ways. Just this once. I'm gonna offer you an opportunity to be a hero. You game? That depends. What the fuck do you want me to do? Quit fucking with me, fool. You know what I want. March back up into that house and kill JB. Prove you are worth more to the tower than the cockroach you've been so far. And in return, all your fucked up transgressions will be forgiven. If you happen to find yourself in the midst of our onslaught on the reserve, tower troops will have your back. You have my word. But let me gather my thoughts.
I I'm ready to listen. Quit fucking with me, fool. You know what I want. March back up into that house and kill JB. Prove you are worth more to the tower than the cockroach you've been so far. And in return, all your fucked up transgressions will be forgiven. If you happen to find yourself in the midst of our onslaught on the reserve, tower troops will have keep pointing that weapon at. See what it gets you. That's what I'm My dear Georgia, we have gone too far. This has to stop. We are not cruel. No matter what our community is facing right now, we have to remember our promise to the people. I understand the need to pivot when faced with a crisis, Georgia. Those responsible for the atrocities that led to the disease were brought to justice. We have to put the lessons we learned from all that tick business behind us. When I first learned that those animals were serving human flesh to our most desperate, simply to meet hunting quarters, I was enraged. But as difficult as it may be, I had to pivot. I had to try and understand the desperation that drove them to hunt human beings. Maybe our scavenging quarters were a misstep. Yes, punishment was warranted. But we cannot allow those horrors to color all the choices we make moving forward. We must help people, not abandon them. I have been changing course and making difficult decisions a majority of my life. We can figure this out. We can get this community back on the right track. I may be a bit compromised these days, but my mind is as sharp as ever. You need to be patient, and you need to trust me. You know, I have always thought of you as the daughter I never had. Have I ever steered you wrong? We will return to better days. Your mama. Thanks for taking care of that situation outside, tourist. Not sure I would have been able to survive an ambush of that magnitude. That would have taken at least a couple of them down with me, though. That much I can guarantee. And now I must bid you farewell. I have a new broadcast to prepare hearts and minds to ignite. Perhaps you may even get a special mention. But please, do me one last favor. Keep our earlier discussion in mind when the moment arrives for you to decide the fate of the Reserve. One. Zero, zero, 006. The four numbers that will set this city free.
Tourist. Thank you, and goodbye. Maybe our paths will cross again. Maybe not. Guess we'll just have to wait and see. Personally, I think you should follow us out of this doomed city. Like I said, you will be an asset to the Exodus. But you need to follow whatever story resides in your head. Just know that you are a part of my and Ombra's story. Along with the stories of a couple dozen folks who might have been dead by the end of the week if it wasn't for your efforts. Amber wanted to give you one more drawing. I think she hopes it'll sway your decision. Good luck. And I hope you find what you're searching for. May. Ah. <sighs>